No, I have no, no I have respect for our boots. But uh, we've known each other for a long time now. We won the 27 in, in 2015. We won the national Golden Gloves together. We were both 17, so it's a great fight. People want to see it, then we'll do it. No, I don't. I don't say no to any fight. You know, as long as it's uh, it's eye eye catching and eye candy to the to all of you that are watching right now. That's what really matters, you know. So, however, my main focus is truthfully is Crawford, and I know so it is for him too. So, we'll see what happens down the line. We'll see what happens for for us this whole year and for the for the next year to come. And those are the words of Teofimo Lopez Jr. as he states that he has no problems fighting Jared Boots Ennis. However, his focus is Terrence Bud Crawford. And let me counterpunch. I think that Teofimo Lopez has been calling out Crawford a while. And it's admirable to hear him call out Terrence Crawford. However, it's not as realistic to me based on Lopez's weight class. He's at 140. You know, unless he was willing to come up to 154, which is 14 pounds, to take on the current new WBA super welterweight king, Terrence Crawford, I wouldn't really be hopeful of a fight like that, especially when Terrence Crawford and Bomack, I know it, um, in particular, doesn't want that fight to happen, okay? He said that T.O.'s trash, he used to be good, he's no good, he's a bum fighter. And in that case, to counterpunch that statement from Bomack, if that's the case, you know, give Teofimo Lopez a contract to move to 154 to challenge Terrence Crawford for the WBA crown. How about that? You know, if he's such a bum fighter. Because to me, it's like the hunter becomes the hunted and now people want Terrence Crawford so Terrence Crawford has a lot of options you know what I mean but realistically though if Tio's serious he would go to 154 he would bypass 147 go to 154 challenge Terrence Crawford and see if he could beat him because he's been calling him out for quite some time so I think it's only fair to fight someone on, a, on, on an even playing field because Teofimo Lopez is lineal, okay? So he is the new blood, less accolades, but still his accolades supersede anybody in there. That includes Ryan, Tank, any of those guys. He has more clout than all of them, probably except for Lomachenko, but Lomachenko's not going anywhere, right? You know, so you hear these guys calling out Terrence Crawford, you know, it's kind of like the same old song because we've heard Javante saying, I can knock him out. Well, if you could knock him out, do it. But then you won't, you don't even feel comfortable fighting at 140. So why are you talking about that? Or you expect Terrence to do something dumb by coming down and wait to fight you after he was already making trouble making weight at 147. You know what I mean? And none of those guys have fought at 147, T.O. nor Tank. So. I just think it's unrealistic, honestly, until it becomes realistic. I said the same thing I say about Jared Boots Ennis. Jared Boots Ennis is 147 pounds. And speaking of Jared, okay, uh, Jared has his own battle, okay? And Jared, if Tio can't get a, a, a Terrence fight, fight Ennis at 147, go up to 147 and challenge the IBF welterweight champion. How about that one? I think that would make more sense. If you can't get one shark, get another. You can't get the great white. Go get the tiger shark, right? Just as big, equally dangerous, or bigger, right? In Jaron Boots Ennis, you know? To me, it sounded like, hey, I like Ennis. We did this together, we've come up together, we did this, did that, but I'm focused on Terrence Crawford. I mean, it kind of sounds like I'm swerving the idea of Ennis to fight Crawford. Well, Crawford's manager has no desire to fight you. So since you already know that, why waste time with calling out Terrence Crawford? Because it seems like the only time you call out a fighter which you know there's no way to fight him, if you want clout. 
Ask Deontay Wilder about that. It helped him. <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Teofimo Lopez responding to the idea of fighting Jared Boots Ennis, but his only focus right now on Terrence Bud Crawford as though he was going to sign to fight him. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counter.